Dark Side of Japan Legal Edition. What happens if you get arrested in Japan? After getting arrested, the Japanese will take police will take you to a prison cell where you will be detained up to 72 hours. No phone calls, no visitors, uh, no possessions, uh, no English allowed, and you you can ask for a lawyer, but they're not necessarily going to be present during any questioning. During this first initial three days, the police will investigate, trying to find any kind of evidence against you to decide whether they want to detain you further. Um, if they do want to detain you further, they will keep you, they'll request an additional 10 days from a judge and they'll get that automatically. And then at the end of those 10 days, they'll ask for another 10 days. So basically you will be detained for a period of 23 days without any charges, formal charges being laid against you. For foreigners with temporary work permits in Japan, not permanent residents, but others, uh, the 23 days is almost automatic every time. They can extend this 23 days by just adding an additional charge and they'll get an extra 23 days and that can continue on forever. Since no formal charges have been laid, there's no bail system either. So you won't be able to get out of uh, being imprisoned even if you're rich. Look at the case of Carlos Ghosn. Uh, he was imprisoned for almost a year uh, with no formal charges being laid against him. Interrogations during these 23 days can be very intense. Uh, you're not allowed to speak English during these periods. Uh, the Japanese police will interrogate you aggressively trying to get you to confess to the crime that they think you have committed. And if you don't confess, they will just keep extending your incarceration without charges anyway. There has actually been a case of a person who was arrested uh, for stealing a rice ball from a convenience store. And they refused to confess. And they were held for over two years and finally released after that period without any charges being laid against them. But by that time, obviously, they lost their job, they lost their family. Uh, and their whole life was torn apart. This is what's referred to in the West as a hostage justice system. So they basically, the police will force you to confess, and if they don't get a confession, they'll just in, in, increase the number of uh, incarcerated days. If you actually are arrested for a crime, uh, then after you complete your sentence, you'll be immediately sent to the immigration center where they have their own jail or detention center, and you will be immediately deported. Uh, if you don't have money to pay for your own flight, uh, then um, you'll just have to wait for the next deportation flight, which could take uh, who knows how long, right? Moral of the story, don't get arrested.